morning. How's everybody doing out there? Amen. I am Prophetess Lewis from Dallas, Texas. I just wanted to come in for a moment just to break bread with you, talk with you, you know, concerning the whole armor of God. The whole armor is much needed right now because the enemy, he's on a rampage and, and he don't care whom he, you know, come in contact with or whatever it is that he's trying to do in the midst of the saints. The enemy just don't care because he knows that he has a short time to get his work done. And so we want to make sure that we have on the whole armor of God that we are able to fight against the tactics and the schemes, you know, that he keep coming up with against God's people. The enemy do not play fair. And we already know these things. So it's very, very important that we put on the whole armor. Amen. Paul is telling us in the book of Ephesians, Ephesians 6 and 10, he said, finally, my brethren or sister, he said, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. He said, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So therefore, he is telling us right there that we have to put on that whole armor right there so that we can fight against who? The wiles of the devil. We already know he's coming with these tactics. He's coming with these schemes. He's doing everything to try and take down the body of Christ. So we have to put these things on and say, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. It's a, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Flesh and blood doesn't have anything to do with this. We have to war in the spirit. It says, because we are fighting against principalities. We're fighting against darkness. We are are fighting against the spiritual wickedness in high places. We already know that it's so much spiritual wickedness that is going on. So we have to learn who our opponent is. How can we fight against something when we don't even know what we're fighting against, people? So therefore, we have to put on this whole armor and make sure that we are not in the flesh when we are trying to fight. Because that is how we lose ground. That is how we lose the battle when we get into the flesh. Yes, I have encountered a lot of warfare in the last couple of weeks. And that is why the Lord has me in this particular passage, because he wants me to learn how to handle my warfare. If I don't learn how to handle my warfare, I'm going to keep on losing these battles. When the enemy comes in like a, like a flood, what did the Lord say? He said that he, the spirit of the Lord was going to do what he was going to lift up a standard against him. The enemy, he's going to keep coming. And sometimes he'll come in a different way, but most of the time he comes the same way. Once again, I have encountered so much warfare, but the Lord is teaching me how to handle my warfare. And I don't know who I'm talking to. The Lord wants you to learn how to handle your warfare because a lot of times we can be in warfare and we're not fighting with the right thing that God has given us to fight with. We already know that we have to take this word right here. We have to take the word of the Lord in order to fight because what? These battles are spiritual. Flesh and blood, you can come at me in the flesh all day long. I have no business retaliating in the flesh. When we come back retaliating against people, it gets worse. I, I know sometimes you get pushed to that limit. You get pushed to that point. And, and you just have to pray and say, Lord, I need you right now because a, a sister watermelon is tripping right now. And she's going to make me tell her something. Yes. A uh, uh, brother June, uh, Lord, you got to come right now. I need you right now. Lord, if you don't come right now, something might break out. So let us be careful of how we are handling the warfare because soon as you get out of character, the first thing they're going to say, I thought you were saved. I knew you wasn't saved. And we already know that saved is only believing. But people will push you to that point. But we have to learn how to handle our warfare. Yeah, that is why we have this Bible. This Bible is to help us. Yes, we, we don't have to keep failing. We don't have to keep failing these battles that we're in. 
Because the word helps us. It says, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand what? In the evil day and having done all to what? To stand. It says, stand for, stand therefore having your lawns girt about with the truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Get that word in you so you can stand in the truth. So you can stand in righteousness. Yes, that word will help you. That word will sustain you. And I'm talking about warfare because I know I'm not the only one in the body of Christ that's going through a lot of warfare. Yes, it's breaking out on every side all around me. So now I have to get to a place where I am being still and I can learn how to handle these warfare because people will come against you. And I know people are coming against you all too, but you have to learn how to stand in the midst of the warfare. Let me tell you something. Don't you know people would dislike you because you're standing for what's right? For what you have learned in this Bible, for what God has shown you, people will dislike you because you want to do right. And they're still doing wrong. I have seen that happen to me numerous of times. People come against me because I'm standing for righteousness and I will always stand for righteousness. I will not take down. So we have to stand in righteousness and say, and have your feet shod with what? The preparation of the gospel of peace. We're trying to keep peace. Just because you're talking crazy, I don't have to retaliate crazy. No. Sometimes I just have to let you make a fool of yourself. And that is the way you have to do people sometimes. And they say, above all, taking the shield of faith. They say, where we're... You shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wickedness. Yes. So when we take on the shield of faith, what do we do? We believe. We believe God and his promises. We believe that he's going to cover us. We believe everything that the word of the Lord is saying. We will continue to obey the Father. Amen. Why? Because we trust him. Yes, we believe. We believe by faith. Oh, yes. It's saying, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Take this word of God. And you know, I always say, hide it in your heart. And we're praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for the saints. So let us continue to pray. Amen. Put on that whole armor so that you can fight. Amen. Remember, we are not, uh, flesh and blood don't have nothing to do with this. We are fighting against principalities. We are fighting against all of this spiritual wickedness. There's so much wickedness going on. I know I'm not the only one that sees this. You guys, you all see it too. So when the enemy is coming in and he's trying to do throw all those darts at you, you have to learn how to stand. Yes, stand in the truth, stand in righteousness, and keep praying. Persevere in this thing, pray. Remember, men ought to always pray and not faint. And that means women do. Pray without ceasing. Yes, you got to learn how to be a sharpshooter in this thing. I'm talking about a sniper in the spirit. Yes, and I always tell people, your prayers, you look, all your battles are won in prayer. So let us continue to pray. Don't lose hope in the midst of your warfare. Don't take down to the enemy. Don't give in. No, you just put on that whole armor and you stand and you keep praying. Yes, we believe this thing by faith. Let God fight those battles. Stop trying to fight with these people in the flesh. Stay in the spirit and let God fight your battles. Amen. Amen. I am Prophetess Lewis. I just wanted to come on today just to help strengthen someone that's going through a lot of warfare. I am seeing warfare left and right. The minute you make up your mind that you're going all the way with Jesus, all hell going to break out. But as long as you straddle in the fence, the enemy ain't thinking about you. But the minute you say, I'm going all the way, remember, he hears, he heard you. Oh, uh, she thinks she's going all the way or he thinks he's going all the way. Okay, uh, come on. I'm, I'm going to have to start throwing some darts at him, uh, uh, at her. 
That's what he does. But I encourage you, don't take down. Mm -mm. The battle has already been won. You got the victory. We got the victory. So we should act victorious like we got it. Amen? Amen. Once again, I am Prophetess Lewis. I just wanted to come in and just help, you know, encourage someone that's going through that warfare. Yes. Be a sniper in the spirit. Amen? But until then, you stay blessed. I love you all with the love of Christ. And I will be back at that appointed time. Bye-bye.